friends and welcome back to my homestead today I am again in the greenhouse a beautiful greenhouse my husband built me and I want to start laying down the soil where I'm gonna be growing my winter plants in the cold frame so what that means is that we have a greenhouse right it's a big greenhouse it's 10 by 16 it's a beautiful greenhouse we're using old-fashioned recycled glass. If you see some staining on it, they don't come off. Um, but then inside the greenhouse, we also built a cold frame. And we have windows that will, um, let me see if I can lower these windows. These windows are gonna be covering this entire cold frame. So that's gonna be an additional layer of protection for, against cold, frost, winter. We are in New England, so we do expect cold winters here. Sometimes we have a lot of snow, sometimes we don't. But regardless, it is cold and it's going to be freezing temperatures. And I want to grow some hardy greens in my cold frames. So, I'm going to do a no-dig method. Because right now, well, at least where we live in New England, it's not really a suitable soil for growing. It's very rocky and very sandy here. So I am probably standing on top of, of a ledge because we, we live in a very um, rocky area in, in, in New England. So I need to build up soil. So this cold frame is a very large cold frame and actually it's insulated on the outer uh, wall and it is three feet wide by at least a foot and a half deep. So I'm going to be filling up with um, soil for this to grow. Now this is going to be no dig method, meaning that I'm going to be building up soil. So this can be done for any vegetable bed if you choose to do a no dig method. So a few of my subscribers have reached out to me and said to me, well I would like to start a garden in the spring, how should I prepare in the fall or how can I build soil in the fall? And one of my suggestions is, if you're gonna do a raised bed, is to first build a bed where you want this to be. Make sure it's a well sunny place, not in a shade under a tree. It should be a sunny place, and this is the sunniest place in our yard. And then build your frames. Please don't make them shallow. Just like anything, vegetables need a place to put down their roots. And I unfortunately have seen some vegetable beds that were only four inches deep. And that is not deep enough at all. I am sorry to tell you, don't expect harvest if your beds are that shallow. So they should be at least a foot deep. Mine is about a foot and a half deep, okay? So, and then you can build the soil up. And this is how we're gonna do it. It's gonna be a process of utilizing recycled materials, such as cardboard, newspapers, old papers laying around the house, shredded documents, anything that's not waxy. Do not use waxy um, cardboard. It should be something that's gonna break down easily. Then, right now in the fall, we have an abundance of foliage. It's covering our lawns. So rake your lawn, go rake a lawn of some uh, old cute little lady in your neighborhood, help her out, and take those leaves into your garden and dump them on top of the cardboard in your uh, vegetable bed, the new raised bed that you're building. So the cardboard should be first soaked with water, so make sure it's nice and wet. Either leave it outside for a few days on a rainy day or use water if you want to yourself and then start layering things up, okay? So let me show you how I'm going to do it in my raised bed. So what I'm doing now is I am making sure that all of the tape is off of these boxes because you don't want to put any plastic. Okay, so I'm just ripping everything out, uh, making this cardboard plastic free and I have quite a lot. And I'm sure a lot of you with all of this quarantine and online shopping, everyone has a lot of boxes coming. And uh, if you don't, ask your neighbors, okay? So again, make sure that this is a very cheap project when you're starting to build uh, a raised bed, vegetable bed. So I'm just taking everything off, all right? And I'm layering everything down. Now, in case you ask me why does it look black inside, why does the wall look black, it's because we actually torched it. We torched the wood to help it uh, to prevent from 
quick breakdown so it's nicely torched. So I'm going to be layering a couple of layers of cardboard on the bottom and I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and moist. This cardboard should be wet. Uh, we did leave it outside and it rained, but it's not as wet as I would like it to be. So I'm going to make it a little bit even more wet. down and we soaked it with water uh, even though I left those cardboard outside and it rained but not enough because it really should be nice and moist it's gonna help the breakdown process that's gonna be my first layer then the second layer is we're gonna be adding either dried leaves that we um, collect after raking our lawn grass clippings we're gonna be adding here as well as a second layer right then if you have any kind of fresh manure uh, in my case, I'm going to be cleaning my chicken coop, I'm going to be cleaning my goat house, I'm going to be layering that here as well. Just remember not to plant anything straight into it, that will burn the plants and it will kill the plants, okay? But because you're building this up in the fall to plant in the spring, it will be perfect for you. In my case, I'm going to be covering everything with plenty of compost that I'm going to be uh, planting my vegetables into. But for you guys who are starting this in the fall to use it in the spring, it will have at least six months to everything to break down and burn and create a beautiful soil for you in the spring, okay? So layer of cardboard, layer of wood shavings or a layer of grass clippings and leaves and some sort of a, a um, horse manure or cow manure, something like that, if you can come by. If you don't have it and you wanna avoid that, that's fine as well. Just keep building it up. And then in the spring, you're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful no dig method of a vegetable bed. So I also dumped a bunch of old letters and newspaper clippings and old documents that are no longer needed. And so they can go into this pile as well because they will also get wet. I will get them uh, sprinkled with water and they will break down and turn into soil. Again, not right now, but by springtime, it will be perfect. Just it is easier if the, um, if the papers are sort of shredded into smaller chunks, it's better that way and they will break down faster and more evenly. Rather than stacking them up, it will take a long, long time to break down because the uh, air doesn't get in between. So shred them into smaller manageable pieces. So I layer down the newspapers and some other, and now I'm dumping leaves that we collected from the front lawn. And I have more leaves here in my wheelbarrow, so I'm gonna be dumping those as well. And that's how we're going to start building the soil, okay? So again, use recycled materials to start building your soil for the spring. Okay, friends, just a quick review what we've done here so far. It got dark the other night, so we have to continue today. Um, we layered the cold frames with cardboard. Remember that? Soaking wet. Then we brought at least 10 to 12 inches um, of dried leaves that we collected on the front lawn because this is a foliage time, right? So we collected and we brought it here. Then I had some semi uh, broken down mulch. Also, I had a pile. I brought it in here as well. And now because I plan on planting something into the soil right now, I'm going to bring my fresh compost that I have that's already for planting. However, if I was not planting anything in here right now and only wait till spring, I would have brought a bunch of manure that I had. Whatever manure you have, even if it's a fresh manure, bring it in here and let it sit till spring. And then in the springtime, it will be ready to, to plant. But I wanna do my winter garden, so I'm gonna bring some compost in here that's already done uh, composting and it's ready for planting. Look at this black gold. Isn't it beautiful? So, so we have 
a lot of leaves and uh, grass clippings on the bottom. Now I'm going to cover everything with a good manure, excuse me, good compost for about 10 inches or so. So this is, my friends, a no dig method of gardening. All right, this is how you start a vegetable bed. Now again, if I was just doing this um, for outside vegetable bed, like a raised bed, I would just simply do the cardboard in the bottom, couple of layers, nicely soaked, covered with a good 12 inches or so of leaves, grass clippings, whatever you've got, you know, go ask your neighbors. I'm sure they will be happy to get rid of it. And then cover with another 10 inches or so of fresh manure. It's okay. Now just be careful where you get your manure because not everyone is feeding their animals good stuff. But I have plenty of animals and plenty of manure. And leave it like that till spring. And then in the spring, that vegetable bed will be perfect for spring planting, okay? Now in my case, I wanna do winter gardening, or at least I'm gonna attempt. So I'm just putting, instead of manure, I'm putting down already well-established compost, and I have a huge pile of it. So I'm just waiting for my husband to bring more. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be covering everything with about 10 inches or so. Now right now, it looks like a lot. It looks like so much, so deep. But I assure you, friends, it will settle. It will settle a lot. So again, for those of you who are very, very new to gardening, and you are building vegetable raised beds for your new gardens out there, please make them deeper. Because you need a good amount of soil for the roots to establish and for the microbes to work and all of the little bugs that you need and worms. You need so much in your soil. You want them room to work, okay? So, look at this. So beautiful. Okay. All right, so I've got at least 10, maybe even more, like 12 inches, would you say, of compost here now. And it's super fluffy, and I know for a fact this will settle, and settle a lot. So, but it's gonna be good enough for me to plant now what I wanted to plant. So if you wanna come over here to my little growing shelf here, <clears throat> So uh, two weeks ago, I planted seeds of um, lettuce and of kale and of spinach. And as you can tell, they're doing great. And I'm going to transplanting them into my new cold frames. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll have a little bit of a winter garden. So uh, it's getting too late now. Um, we moved all the soil now this compost so tomorrow when it's nice and bright I hope to transplant my seedlings into the soil but a little update on my compost pile um, where is my thermometer I've lost my thermometer I was checking on this compost pile I know it's nothing attractive really but it's a compost pile but we've been dumping uh, grass clippings in here and leaves and uh, chicken scraps whatnot and I've been checking the soil uh, excuse me the compost pile temperature and I would stick a thermometer in it and the highest I saw it came up to 142 degrees Fahrenheit so that is com slowly decomposing breaking down creating lots and lots of heat so I'm hoping that this will be enough to heat my greenhouse but I'm not sure so we'll see it's all experimental so I'll Okay, so um, here's a start to my winter garden. This is a totally experimental. I uh, started these seeds on October 2nd and right now it is October 22nd and I placed them into the ground in my cold frames. 
it's still quite warm outside during the day. It gets up as high today, it got up as high as 79. But at nighttime, it does drop to um, 38, 39. But the greenhouse has not dropped below 45, 50. So, um, and I'm hoping to utilize this cold frame. See these windows? That I'm gonna be closing them on really cold days, and hopefully that will help. And as I mentioned before, I have this compost pile that keeps on burning and producing some heat for the greenhouse. Anyway, I'm gonna say a quick prayer that the Lord blesses my greenhouse and blesses these plants and nourishes my family. Uh, I hope they grow. Come on, guys. I hope you guys grow. So, I have a couple of turkeys who are my little audience today. They've been watching me work. All right, guys. On this note, stay tuned, follow us, and see how our winter garden works out.